Last week at the Thirsty Dog, Wayne Anderson gave us all in a gig of a lifetime. His manager Orlando took a big risk and decided now was the time to change jobs and devote himself 100% to Wayne's singing career. I can't work at the video store anymore. I I'm going to have to go. OK, but that's it. It's over. And a plan to form Wayne's backing band was put into action. Seeing who turns up and you picking them, you know, mm -hmm. hand-picked musicians. Are you neat, tidy, manly and above all, musical? With the band auditions drawing near, things are going well for an upbeat Wayne Anderson. Finally, his custom-made record racks are arriving. Yeah, I got a phone call from Orlando this morning, and uh, evidently he's got some good news. Not quite sure what it is, but uh, the uh, good news that I'm really excited about is that I'm getting some uh, record stands delivered to um, accommodate all these records. I've actually uh, elected to make it 15 albums per bay. Out of its 15 per bay, the back record is easy to get out of. If records are still sitting on the floor, then it's quite okay. I can redivide it and make it a maximum of 20 per bay. Once the record stands arrive, we'll just have to see how it pans out. But not too wild. This is the moment I've waited for. They're actually white, aren't they? Uh, you not said quite. They're, not quite. They're yeah, off-white. More like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> we made these um, stands 30 years ago, and I never thought I'd ever make them again, I must admit. And uh, this young fella turned up and said, well, I'll make some more of them, and I couldn't believe it. There you go, young fella. I'll take that one in. Hold it from the bottom. Take your hands from here. Oh, little black feet. You were saying about the black feet. Yeah. I don't know which was the biggest aggro remaking something I'd made 30 years ago, <laughs> listening to the daily conversations which I had with young Wayne. Have you started yet? Have you started yet? Have you started yet? No, I haven't started yet. I, I got the stage on and he said, no, I don't want to make them. But however, I said I would, and uh, I did. But uh, they've turned out rather well, I think, anyhow. Here you are, right, young fella. Here's the last one. And then here, they're alphabetical. A, like Abba, and then it's just B, C, Campbell, Glenn Campbell, D for Neil Diamond, H for Humperdinck. J for Jones, and just works its way around alphabetically. P for Presley, and then it works its way into here. Well, good to see you've got a number of records, haven't you? Yeah, they, um, they're mainly male vocalists. Like, I, I like female vocalists in groups, but being a, a male singer myself, I model myself a little bit on some of these fellas. How long did it take you to collect all these records? I've been collecting, uh, like, over 30 years. It's a wonderful thing, um, music, it puts uh, wings on the spirit, but a lot of people can't hit the notes, you see. You've got to be able to sing from there, you know. It's like rock. Yeah, just, just give it a belt. I don't want to hit you, I might hurt you, but... Nah. Ooh, I tell you yeah. what, it's quite hard. Yeah. Mm. So, it's all air, you oh, see. Well, no, you're, uh, well, you've got a lot of work to do to put it all together again now with your new stand, so... Yeah, yeah, oh. and I'm looking, looking forward to it. Uh, That's good. Thanks to you, um, yeah. Edward. All right. Yeah. You're welcome. Wayne busies himself organising his record collection before sitting down with his best friend Glenn and his manager Orlando, who's got some big news. <laughs> It's an important day. It's actually our biggest breakthrough. All right. Two words. Good morning. Good morning? You mean the Good Morning Show? I'm talking TV One. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. You performing, they want you performing. They want an interview with you. My favourite New Zealand artist, as you know, is John Rolls, and he's always been on Good Morning. Mm. So to follow in his footsteps is absolutely fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Look at these. All oh, right, business cards. Maybe if, um, like, you know, if we're doing a rest home or something, we'll just twink out sexy, and then it'll just be Wayne Anderson, mm -hmm. the singer of songs. I'm just wondering whether that uh, needs to be in there. Yeah, well, I mean, sexy those sells, you know, sex sells. It's, it, and we're selling you, we're in the business of selling Wayne Anderson. People see the picture, you know, thinking, you know, and you're pretty sexy. Mm. Well, yeah. Yeah. Good day. With a tight time frame till his appearance on the Good Morning Show, Wayne needs to pull out all stops to get in top shape. If we can get into a routine, 
we use sing and run, yep. then we should be sweet. I normally keep pretty fit anyway, but uh, uh, I sort of like to model myself on um, singers. You know, as you say, I model myself on singers in all sorts of ways, and that includes getting fit. Sinatra, when he goes into a recording session, he cuts down the cigarettes and booze and uh, you know, jogs a little bit and that sort of thing. With me, um, I do a lot of walking anyway, so I keep pretty fit. So it's important to look good and to be fit and uh, maybe lose a bit, you know, before the, uh, the big day. Faster. That's it. 100% way. This is good morning, for God's sake. That's it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, that's it, Wayne. That's it. Now let's get going. I want you keeping up with me and I want you singing the whole time. Operator, information, get me Jesus on the line. Keep singing. Oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch a long, lonely time. Five press ups. Time goes by so five. slowly. Give me five. And time can do Stop, so drop, much. Stop, drop, and roll, Wayne. Stop, drop, Are and you... roll. Five sit ups. Five, five, five press ups. Here we go. Oh, keep counting down. One, yes, that's it. Two, two three, three, four, five. Are you feeling the burn? Oh, yeah. Let's go. The greatest world that exists in the world can never more. buy what give I can more. give. Just help yourself to Come my on, legs, Wayne. to my arms, then let's really start to live. One more time. One more time. After the good news and a hard day's training, the work doesn't stop, and Wayne starts on the paperwork for tomorrow's band auditions. I've got these paisley pens, they're a little bit like fountain pens. They're better than ballpoints because the ink flows really well. The only thing is you've got to make sure you don't write over it with your hand because it's still wet, otherwise you smudge it. I'm just working on the handout for the people coming to the auditions. So I'm just designing a flyer which basically says something to read and think about while waiting for the audition. I prefer my band to be drug and alcohol free um, because I am and I like to be 100% um, switched on. I think if anybody's taking drugs or alcohol then you're less than 100% and uh, I put out 100% uh, on the day, and I expect my band to be the same. The guys have got to be clean, tidy, neat, orderly, manly, and um, basically, they, as I said before, they have to be in tune with what I'm doing, not only musically, but the way they look. They've got to be well presented and look like um, decent, proper, mature, adult people. Coming up after the break, Wayne calls in a childhood friend to help with the auditions and decides on seating arrangements. I'm the most important person, so I'm either in the middle or at one end. In nine days' time, Wayne Anderson will be performing on the Good Morning Show, but his enthusiasm has waned due to an unfortunate incident. Yeah, today we've got the band auditions. I was checking through my CDs the ones I lent to Orlando, and uh, this particular one, Elvis Second to None, has come back broken. Orlando doing this to the CD has basically soured the whole occasion. I rang Orlando and told him what he'd done, you know, broken the CD case. He didn't really seem to understand. Unlike the ordinary ones where you can replace the case, this one's got a sticker on the front. For a guy that's supposed to be my manager, he's buggered it completely. I don't know whether I'll be able to trust him again. And now my mind will, instead of being transfixed on the auditions, I'll be worrying about this bloody CD that he's busted. Ever the consummate professional, Wayne has managed to put aside his disappointment with Orlando and is focused on the task of auditioning a band at the Weymouth Community Hall. Yeah, it's just after 12 o'clock and we're at the Weymouth Community Hall and we're about to audition the band members for my potential band. Nobody's turned up yet, but um, I'm quietly confident that they'll come in soon. Come over here and I'll show you the material that I've brought in. Uh, six things we're looking for. Number one being neat, number two being tidy, number three being manly, number four being musical, number five being reliable or punctual, and finally you must have a great knowledge of the classic songs. 
Put your hand in the hand of a man who steals the water. Oh, oh Ray, why not? Oh, Christian, you take that. Oh, you yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. You just take a chair, Ray. Yeah, I'll take my best. Yeah. yeah. Pretty the big. fundamental oh, things apply as time goes by. Yeah, I think that's enough chairs, probably. Um, hey, Wayne. Who sits where, Wayne? I'm the most important person, so I'm either in the middle or at one end. Perhaps I'll sit here. And then who goes next? Uh, next would be uh, my best friend. Christian. And who's next to Christian? Is Raven on the panel? Yeah. Okay, well, because she's his girlfriend, she would go next. And then my manager would be at last. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about that CD, Wayne. You know? Oh, that's all right. That's all right. You know? The, the only trouble is you can't fix it by replacing the case because the beautiful um, writing, there's a sticker advertising your stuff on the front of the of the case, you know? Yeah. A couple of days ago, I ruined one of Wayne's CD covers, so I feel bad about that. And I'm just grateful that Wayne has um, actually seen fit for me to be on the panel. So thanks, Wayne. That's OK, Orlando. It's a, I am down this end. It's a pl pleasure to have you on board. I am sorry. Maybe next time I'll be up that end. I could yeah. be up that end. Accidents can happen. A wet day hasn't dampened the spirits of those wanting to audition, and there's a bigger than expected turnout at Weymouth. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Wayne Anderson, as you probably know, and it's a, a great turnout. I really such more people than what I expected actually, with the weather the way it was. So. It's good to see you all. What I'm basically here for is I'm looking for a band to be able to back me. I've been a semi-professional singer for over 30 years now. Like I do all styles of music, you know, um, mainly big, powerful um, ballads, you know, in the Roy Orbison um, style. So that's what I'm looking for, and uh, the type of music I'm looking for. So um, is that cool with you? Does that sound right? Okay. Yeah, this is uh, my school friend Christian, Christian Boxler. Known him since we were about 11 or 12 in intermediate school, so we've known each other 35 years. And that's his girlfriend, Raywin. And she also likes uh, music as well. Mm. So without any further ado, I'll um, select the first person to demonstrate what you can do. So let's just simply start from um, over here. Uh, what is your name? Ollie. Ollie? Uh, whenever you're ready. Quite musical so far. It's a flying V. I think they call that a flying V. Thanks very much, Ollie. Yeah, that's fine. Coming up after the break, the auditions continue and the panel deliberate over KFC. I've been to lots of KFCs before, and this is the nicest one by far. In fact, I've taken girlfriends here before. It's quite a quite a romantic spot. Back in Weymouth, auditions for Wayne's band are underway but an oversight by Orlando has caused a problem. We're well, running out of sheets, guys. OK. Two sheets left. What should we do, Wayne? Should we just, let's um, do it down the bottom here. We'll write down. How many more do we have to go so far? Trudy. Sorry, you what's your it? name? My name's Al. Alan. Al. 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 Can you play When the Saints Go Marching In? Go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. The auditions are back underway with country duo Fats and Mumba. Wide world, all alone. I have no place on earth I can go. 
Yeah, no, that was cool. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I've, I'll, I'll say uh, probably the best so far. Okay. <laughs> All right, Charlotte. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Yeah, yeah, that was good. With the auditions over and Orlando outside thanking potential band members, Wayne takes a moment to express his frustrations. OK, there's two black marks against Orlando and he needs to be aware, aware of them. One is that I lent him a CD and I'm very, very uh, reluctant to lend anybody CDs because um, my CDs are very, very important and uh, unfortunately it was returned to be damaged with the case cracked and then secondly the uh, shambles uh, today uh, with lack of pens and lack of um, judging forms um, really I've, I've, I've really starting to think maybe is he the right manager for me perhaps um, Christian or maybe um, Glenn Adamson yeah, might have been uh, might be more in tune with um, you know um, what really needs to happen mm -hmm. As night falls on Manurewa, Wayne's management group gather to deliberate over potential band members. Well, I thought I'd choose this spot, um, this particular KFC, because I've been to lots of KFCs before, and this is the nicest one by far. In fact, I think it's the only two-storey one that I know, because you actually get a great view of Manurewa from here. In fact, I've taken girlfriends here before. It's quite a, quite a romantic spot, in, in a way. So this is an ideal spot. That's right. Yeah. To pass judgment. Mm -hmm. That this yeah. little one's life. It looks like my chicken there. Anyway, so Ollie, first up guy, really fell down in the neat and tidy. You know, he was just out of the equation straight away. Yes, um, Ollie reminded me of a devil worshipper, and that would be totally unacceptable, and um, it's totally out of place in, in uh, the format that we're trying to establish. Yeah, nothing vaguely bisexual or vaguely satanic. Anybody that looks ragged or tatty or has any signs of um, mm. you know, satanic sort of crap, no, we don't want any of that sort of stuff. No. And he certainly had leanings towards that. I rather liked him. Uh, I don't know. What trumpet player? But I was um, impressed with his um, musicianship a little bit more than the rest, actually, gauged by the um, total that I um, compiled. Hey, so you, you put the chicken in the gravy. Yeah, that's right, that's why I do it. Yep. Yeah, thinking. Um, so yeah, let's move on. So yeah, trumpet player, good, good, good trumpet player. Yeah. He was, you know, at least he wasn't a complete tattooed idiot, mm. you know. Which brings us to Fats and Mamba. Fats was one of the two guys with the attitude problem. And um, yeah, I definitely don't want to be on tour with um, guys in my band with an attitude problem, so um, I think we can scrub him out. I, I thought he kind of fell into that vaguely bisexual kind of category that we are trying to avoid. Yes, I think I scored him very low on the manly category. You scored him at two and then you changed it to a three. But, you know, there's one star, and that star is Wayne Anderson. And then we're up to Charlotte, a 13-year-old on tour. Her youthfulness would exclude her from... Uh, yeah. We would have had to <laughs> take her out of school and that wouldn't have been very feasible to do that. And, um, I mean, a bit unrealistic, isn't it, really? It is. But, you know, it's brave of her, I suppose. Uh, I guess, you know, on one hand, she could appeal to the teen, young teen audience. <coughs> I learned something as a manager in this. All you need is the music behind you, and maybe I kind of pushed you too far, too fast with this well, whole band thing. I agree with you. With a CD, any monies that come, come to one person. Mm. With a band of five, a band of six, mm. got to split it five or six ways. Mm. So economically, it's not viable either. Mm. A lot of these people mm. would want to claim the title of being the top dog, and it's just totally unacceptable. Wayne is in the forefront. Wayne must be the one who's highlighted. I have to shine, and the backing is only there to enhance what I do. Exactly. Mm. So let's just regroup, refocus ourselves as a team, and 
just look forward to the positive things that are happening, mm. which is good morning, a big gig in Wellington. That's right, this could be a springboard to greater things, nationwide prosperity and uh, uh, exposure, which will uh, be uh, even uh, uh, international. Could eat it international. Who knows where it could eat that? Uh, that could, I, uh, I just, do you want me to make you a coffee? Oh, too? I'd love, love you to eat it. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Damn near a disaster, wasn't it? it I mean, was. we ran out of paper, we ran out of judging score sheets, with no pens. He cracked my CD case. Yes. You know, and I mean, I, always, I said, you know, I never lend anything to anybody, you know, uh, because because of that, you know. And I would have thought my manager of all people would have taken care. I don't know what the hell he must have done to crack it. You know, you've got to be pretty careless yeah. to damage a CD case. But however, he's very, very good in other areas. So you know, we can't. Um, <clears throat> We can't um, bag them all together, can we? He's been a, a, a strident campaigner for your um, yeah. um, focus, yeah. and um, yeah. on that basis, um, it's worthy of, um, of uh, the, the remaining at the helm in his managerial position. Just reluctant to lend him any CDs in the future, that's all. Next week on Wayne Anderson, singer of songs, the fitness regime kicks up a gear. The boys sell a concept. Modern music is okay. Yeah, right. Not. And check the acoustics at Auckland's premier performance venue, Sky City. Memory all alone in the moonlight. Clear as a bell from up here, Wayne.